welcome you scorpions I'm so sorry my apologies your reading was done and whatever the situation is I don't know um your reading just got lost as I've said I've been having some serious problems with my computer which is costing me a lot because I hate doing I'm a perfectionist and I like doing my things just one time all right um, sometime when these things happen it's just that the universe wants something else to be added in your message so what we're going to do we're going to do over your freedom and um, it's, it's weird but I guess I understand I don't really make these things um, align me um, I know why I had to do it over is because some message was very important for you guys to have okay I'm sorry I gotta use my glasses because I'm just really tired this whole season and how much I have to do I'm really tired so I'm gonna have to use my glasses so hey guys um, happy new year thank you for being here um, my hair is kind of wet so anyway all right let's go let's check out what is coming in okay for you guys remember that the year is a water year so it's a good year for you guys it's actually a healing year for you scorpions so whatever is happening it's all about healing now the energy of the year is the hangman and you receive the energy of balance okay so it's as if you're healing and you're balancing out certain aspects certain things in your life and this is going to be good what else is transpiring and what is happening is that there is a surety that things are going to be changing whether or not you want this it is going to be changing it's no question it's not asking things are going to be changing for you scorpions as either you are going to change your ways or you have to change your ways okay so we're going to be going deeper and in looking into the freedom bow stop wait until your father get home I'm doing my reading stop crying it's just eight o'clock okay so what's happening we have three months we break down the year in three months we have January until March we have April until June and we have July until August October until December now the energy of the hangman do come back in your reading as we're looking <clears throat> it's gonna be a spiritual you're having the energy of uh, temperance that is helping you to align with the energies okay whatever the situation is temperance is helping you to align with the energies in this year it's going to be good because you're going to be positively aligning yourself on positive um, ways in your life and this is going to be good now you begin the year with two water energies it's all about secrets it's all about things coming out it's about secrets coming out in the first two months it's in the third month you're going to be dealing with an organization so January you have the eye princess it's all about the intuition listen to your intuition um, um, and this is the energy of the eye princess that is coming up in January for you now this is all about listening to your intuition this is all about understanding who you are this is all about being honest to yourself as your spirit guides align you um, towards the right purpose in your life and align you towards the healing that you need to do because whatever you have done and whatever you have transpired is there supposed to be an healing that is done okay now we have the energy of the moon now the energy of the moon this is really really the energy of the moon whatever the situation is whatever that is transpiring the energy of the moon is secrets coming out so lies deception in the month of February January and February comes all the lies and deception out okay so we're here with the energy of the moon and what is transpiring and what is happening with all these lies and deception and whatever lies and secrets you keep it it's going to be coming out so be ready for this you scorpions um as we look at the month of March we have the energy of the uh, air effect this is um, an organization institutes the um, courthouse government um, organization businesses and that sort of a thing but 
it depends on who you are in the situation that you're dealing with because obviously there are going to be um, so many energies that is coming up so many things that is coming up that it's gonna be crazy okay it's gonna be so crazy um, so you're going to be realizing that some lies and deception some secrets is going to come in out your eye princess is here that it's going to be connecting you but in the month of March a lot of you have to deal with certain aspects of yourself now the quarter reading for the first quarter with this January February and March is already out please go listen to this reading please go listen to this reading because it's going to be helping you at the same time please download the yearly readings because um, the extended Dale 30 minutes will be on YouTube and the rest is going to be on, on demand you have to download this reading so you can have the rest because there's going to be an extension of each month uh, a, a bolt a, um, a bolt bowl commentary on what is going to be happening in the months that is coming up ahead so this is going to be good all right as we align with the energies of who we are and ourselves what we are going to be understanding we're going to be realizing what is going to be affecting us now um, with the extended reading there's another Dale that is on this reading and it has to do with the Lamorian and then we have the love energies. so it is good to um, be connecting with the extended reading because it's going to give you a lot of information for the year now we're moving on to the other third uh, months and it's going to be water air and fire okay water air and fire now this is um, a fortunate period for you guys because in the first month there is some judgment call and it's going to be some judgment call about an organization an institute that you're working with there is going to be some judgment call or it could be um, a judgment call um, over you or at you that sort of a thing now the energy of the star the energy of the star is um, in the month of May it's going to be a very positive month for you guys things are going to be um, working out in your favor um, if you have um, done good karma if you have done good karma so we have the chariot we have temperance and we have the energy of the star so this is a month of May is good karma good karma is going to be coming in for you guys in the month of May this is really it's going to be a surprising energy for you guys so as we move to the month of June you're ending the first half year in a very favorable note because what is happening or what is transpiring is basically the wheel of fortune is here now this is very powerful and this is very strong because whatever um, that you are wishing dreaming and open for it's going to be aligning with you it's going to be aligning with your energies it's going to be very very positive so positive situation is about to come in now as we move forward and we're looking at uh, whatever the judgment call is um, some of you it's it's going to be you finding out something about yourself okay so it's going to be affecting you in a way that you have to deal with other people um, you have to deal with other people it's affecting you and yourself you have to deal with other people whatever is affecting you whatever the situation is whatever that has been transpiring it's going to affect you and other people now the energy of the chariot um, in the month of May is going to be very positive so for people who have been given out positive karma this karma is going to be coming back to you guys so, um, also in the month of June um, you are dealing with the hermit and the wheel of fortune and this is going to be good because the hermit is going to be showing you ways and means how you can um, manifest a lot of stuff in your life how you can really really manifest a lot of stuff in your life so whatever the situation is whatever that is transpired the wheel of fortune is going to be helping you and this is for the people who have been giving out really really positive karmas in your life as we look at the third quarter we have the, the energy of here which is justice then we have strength then we have the tower okay so this is uh, 
in the month of um, September the tower energy comes up with something abruptly is going to be released out of your life something very abruptly is going to be received uh, released out of your life so as we have the energy of justice where it's starting the third period July some energy of justice is coming in um, it is the balancing of certain karmas certain situation um, and this is good now strength is very important whatever is transpiring whatever is happening in the month of August you need to find inner strength whoever you are out there in the month of August you need to find inner strength as we look at the energy of the tower which is you have hair fire fire okay you are a water sign and this is the reason why balance comes in to learn to have balance this year is all about you fire sign taking on the energies of the Virgos and, and trying to learn to balance out yourself because it's going to be a rough year for you um, scorpions so as we live justice is here the strength is here and the tower now some of you could be having a situation with legal case and that sort of a thing whatever is transpiring whatever is happening there is going to be a significance of change that is about to enter your life now with these change in these situation that is coming in you have to be aware and aligned with these energies because whatever the situation is and whatever that is transpiring you have to be aligned and awaken and be aware of what is going to happen okay I'm getting your animal totem cards so wonderful positive energies are coming in which is going to be aligned in you but on the other hand what is going to transpire is that a whole lot of stuff is going to come to the surface that you guys have to deal with a whole lot of stuff is going to come to the surface that you guys have to deal with whatever the situation is whatever is happening whatever is transpire a whole lot of things is going to come to the surface that you guys have to deal with in the year 2019 um then as we look at the months of October November and December we are having water fire and water so it's a very emotional um, year for you guys there is so much emotion that is here in this year it's all about emotional situations okay um, the energy of the hermit is all about the scorpions it's all about you guys okay um, and you know your own energy vibration comes up in the month of October to align you with your your spiritual part and how you are as a person and what is transpiring okay so some of you scorpions are going to be up to facing up to yourself facing up to who you are facing up to what you have done facing up as to what has transpired in the year 2018 that is bringing you in 2019 that you have to work out so that is going to affect you in October November and the peak of your year you're gonna be overcoming a lot of stuff and whatever the situation is and whatever you're overcoming it's gonna be good um, because you need to learn um, balance and um, and realize real realize what it is that you have done and how things are going to be affecting you in the future because of something that you have done now you will overcome whatever is transpiring but the problem is that as you overcome whatever has transpired you have to um, basically connect with yourself and understand what you have done okay so it's all about learning um, lessons in 2019 you will overcome certain aspect of situations that has transpired okay and um, it's going to be good okay now as we move forward we have the energy of the hangman in December another weird time for you um another weird time for you guys because you are finding out something about your shadow side are you going to accept it or are you going to work with it or are you going to try and balance this out or, or, or are you going to push it under the mat and don't want to deal with it what is going to happen are you going to choose to work on what it is that you need to, to work on because obviously some of you are dealing with your shadow side in the year 2019 and you need to learn balance and you need to um, understand 
what you have done and what has transpired okay and this is what I always say to people is that you know your parents uh, and you know the, the the people who forgive the most is parents forgiving their kids okay so they are the one who forgive the most now as I look at your year it's going to be a very emotional year some of you are going to be coming out good because some of you years before this you have learned and you have balanced out a lot of situation a lot of uh, um, situation that has transpired in your life you have learned how to balance them out how to move certain things out of your life and this is very good because what has transpired is that you're basically accepting certain aspect of yourself and you're dealing with certain aspect of yourself which is very good now um, the first quarter I think your best quarter is the third quarter it's a very rocky rocky um, in the sense that it's very um, you have to balance out you have to understand where you are who you are what is happening what is transpiring because here we see this coming out now the eye princess something is going to come out that is going to um, end something abruptly okay some secrets is going to come out that is going to end something abruptly um, the energy of the moon whatever you're going to be finding out in the month of February. Um, you're going to be seeing your enemies in the month of February. In the month of February, you're go really going to see your enemies. Um, in the month of March, there is um, an, an legal suit because the, the air event on organization divorces, um, court cases, and that sort of a thing is coming out in the month of March. Now, for some of you, you have to find inner strength. For some of you, it's going to be okay. But for some of you, you have to find inner strength. You are going to be have to be dealing with a situation with an organization. Justice is coming up, and it's going to affect you, Scorpions. So, um, you know, and and this is what I say to a lot of people: um, whatever you do to another, karma is here for you guys in this year. Karma is coming up now. Judgment. And the wheel of fortune now as judgment and the wheel of fortune comes up some of you could be receiving really some fortunate things um, unexpected wealth could be coming in for some of you guys but also unexpected things could be happening um, um, the, the mere positive time is uh, uh, the most positive time is um, in the month of uh, April May okay April May and June is the most positive time uh, the eye princess is going to teach you how to balance out yourself to look at your shadow side I princess is going to teach you to balance out yourself and look at the shadow side okay whatever the situation is whatever it is transparent I princess is going to be um, really connecting with you in this year because it's going to be bringing out so many different aspects of yourself okay it's all about this year is a year of learning balance it's about um, accepting the shadow side but yet still balancing out the shadow side the last period of the year the month of October November and December is going to be very challenged some of you could be moving in November okay so that is something that you should know some of you could be moving in November okay so whatever that is transpiring and whatever that is happening um, you need to understand um, how situations are happening for you at this time and by understanding this you're going to be moving um, yourself from a different place in a better environment for you okay so let's look and see what is the animal energies that is coming up for the first half of the year the animal energies that is coming up is the dragonfly this is very beautiful this card has never come out this is positive it's a fire sign the dragonfly now the dragonfly is one of the most beautiful beautiful cards in this deck the dragonfly is a wonderful energies 
so this is good um, you know and this is why I never ex um, ask why we should redo um, a reading the energy of the dragonfly is so powerful it is coming out in a most powerful way okay the dragonfly is um, a fire sign um, energy and this is um, very very good it's a it's a fire sign energy um, that is um, very very positive okay so we need to understand the energy of the dragonfly okay um, and it's good okay so we're going to be understanding the dragonfly and why is it here for you um, scorpions and remember I haven't gone through to this book so we're going to be looking at it together the dragonfly is the master of light illumination and the mind the dragonfly is an ancient and eternal create 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 uh, creation that awakens a sense of wonder in all the dragon is a symbol of the mind as it is always moving shifting shimmering and changing when the dragon um, card appear it's worth considering the quality of your mind and the perception are there restless or stillness remind us the dream of the crystal clear the situation at hand may be different and difficult than it appears at first glance the dragonfly remind us to calm the mind so that the light of wisdom can shine so this is wonderful and this is good because whatever is happening the energy of the dragonfly is here and it's all about clearly enjoyment seeing clearly enjoyment and magical and you know focus on the breathing when you're dealing with the energy of the dragonfly okay you guys have another energy of you guys have another energy of also a fire sign and this is also good this is good this is good I'm looking for it before I'll tell you guys because remember I have not gone through this book yet because um, I have so many things to research and so many things to do so I have gone through but another wonderful sign comes out for you guys which is good um, it's all about you um, rearranging understanding who you are now the second half of the year 2019 you have the energy of the month okay the energy of the month is the impulsiveness hasty wishful the month is sure the grass is greener on the other side um, the mutt energy is at play when we are attracted to easy solution or anything shimmery and new. This can lead to unfinished project, disappointment, and burnt out. It is helpful to remind the mutt personality that life is complex. No matter the illusion, no matter is expected from the trials and the tribulation of this great year and journey practicing seeing life as an inf infinite master rather than wishing it was easy or difficult um, when in balance enthusiastic and um, when out of balance you need to finish all the projects okay so all the projects that you have started in 2018 um, you need to finish all these projects so you have fire energy earth energy and fire energy that is going to bring you balance which is so very beautiful um, wonderful energies it's so very beautiful and this is um, positive okay so isn't that beautiful ladies and gentlemen it is isn't it so we're going to go ahead and we are going to be going deeper in this reading so if you would like um, to get um, the extended reading please use the link below 
um, extended readings you can always have these extended readings when you download them you can always have them to look back at because this is why their names is extended readings so this is good this is um, very positive